Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of the zombie game tutorial series. I just don't know what I'm gonna call it, as I haven't even released the first video yet. I am recording this directly after the last one, so we're just going to hop right into it. If you remember what we did last time, was we set up this basic little menu, go through this little menu, and then we can walk around and aim our gun in any directions that we want. What we're going to set up today is shooting, and if we have time, something else. But shooting is basically the thing I want to set up at the moment. So, that is what we are going to do. So, here's how we're going to start. We're going to start off by making a bullet sprite for what we're going to be shooting out. So, we will call this bullets. That's not how you spell bullets. Just like that. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to design a basic, basic little bullet sprite. There. Nice tiny little bullet to shoot out. Maybe make it a little bit like smaller in that sense. There we go, and we'll call it accordingly to what it's going to be shooting out of. It's going to be shooting out of a pistol. So, perfect. We have our tiny little bullet. Obviously, it'd be tiny. I'd hope so. I'm going to make it even a little bit smaller, actually. There we go. Great. Now, again, depending on the size of your player and your map, this, these sizes can obviously change. So what we're going to do is we are going to come to the bullets of sprite and grab a when I receive and make sure it's under our green flag topic and then make it hide. Now what we're going to do is we need to set up a system for uh, a wait time between shots. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep in our bullet sprite because our bullet sprite is where we will be uh, keeping track of reload speeds. So what we're going to start off by doing is grabbing a when I receive again and making this start map one. So when I receive start map one, we are going to make a block and call it reload times or whatever works for you. Reload times works in my case though. So we'll do a nice little bit of a reload time. Put right here, reload times, smack it into a forever loop. Since it hides already, we don't have to hide it again. We don't even have to worry about it. Now. What does reload times mean? Well, you'll start off by saying, if, go into operators, grab yourself an equals, go up to, sorry, I got a Discord notification. Sorry there. Uh, we will do if item one of player setup, if you remember, that it would be weapon. So if our weapon is pistol, again, make sure it's spelled directly the same as it would be right here. Just keep that in mind. So if it is pistol, what we will do is we will start off by waiting, let's say, well, how long in total? So how long in total do we wanna have between shots? Maybe we want one second between shots. We'll split it up into two sections. The first half of a second will be before this. After our, oh, excuse me. After that, we will grab a wait until, okay? Inside of this wait until, we will do, and then this is where we will, we will decide our shoot button. So we can choose mouse down, so if you just click, it'll shoot. If you want to do space, Z, whatever. If you want to do multiple, you can grab an and, put mouse down in there, or put a space, maybe Z, whatever key you want, and put it in just like that. If you wanted to add even more than that, you could duplicate it again, and now you have three, three tabs to put it in. I'll just settle with these two, okay? Then what we you will do is we will create a clone. So we can find that right here, create a clone of myself because you know it's where the bullets that's what we're going to be duplicating and then at the end we will wait the other half of a second so in total you see half second half second that equals a whole second so that'd be it because then after you shoot it you wait half a second and then half a second again so you'd wait half a second half a second you wait a whole second and then be able to shoot again all right i personally figured out what my issue was my issue is that uh here sorry i was just messing around a little bit to see if scratch was just being scratch uh i have an and meaning i have to have my mouse down and z pressed make sure this is an or not an and that's very important very small mistake on my end messed me up entirely understand awesome now what we will do is set up what happens when we start a clone so 
when I start as a clone is what we're going to want to drag out here. Excuse me as I move my microphone a little bit. <clears throat> so, when you start as a clone, we will grab an if. We'll actually make it an if else, depending on which thing we are using. And we will duplicate this little bit that we have to check if our weapon is pistol. We will duplicate that again and set it in there. Now, since this is just a basic bullet, we have nothing very crazy to work with here. We will just be setting up a basic movement. So what we're going to do at first is this is again, if the bullet is pistol, what we will do is we will set the bullet to go to our gun or our weapon in this case, right? You will go to weapon. We will point towards the mouse pointer so that it, it will be uh, shooting where our bullet or where our pointer was aimed at that second when we clicked or press Z or whatever button. And then we will, of course, show the bullet. And I like to put it at going to the back layer so that it doesn't appear over the top of our gun. It appears underneath it. So go to the black. So it'll say go to front layer. Just put it in there and click that the drop down. Go to back layer instead. And then after that, we will come to our control tab, grab a repeat until, and then what we can do is grab an or, and in this or we can do touching color, and then choose the color of the wall that it'd be touching. And then we'll leave this space empty for now. That space will be filled up eventually when we create enemies, but we're not doing that in this episode. We're just focusing on the shooting mechanics. So. There it is. This is what we want. And then we're going to repeat this until we touch a the wall or an enemy in the future. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set the bullet's speed now. So we just grab a normal move and bullets move pretty fast. So I'll say a solid 15. After, it'll repeat this until this. After it does touch a wall or an enemy, what will happen is we will have it wait 0 0.01 seconds. And we will also have it move 10 steps or 5 steps. The reason being is, uh, once it hits the enemy, we want it to move a little bit more and then hide. Because if it deletes instantaneously, depending on if the enemy that it's going to be hitting is moving at the same time the bullet is, uh, that could make it the bullet not hit. So we do these two things as a precaution to make sure that it does touch the enemy. And then what we can do is hide it. And then I like to delete the clone. I like to double get rid of it just as a safe keep make sure that delete clone is there though and there you go now you should in theory be able to shoot the bullet as long as all this is set up correctly now let's take a look at our game and see if it works we load into our game and then when we uh, press the when we click we shoot a little bullet out we press z we shoot a little bullet out again you can adjust the speed as much as you want you might be wondering what just happened right there basically right here remember this is where our play button would be it still thinks it's there because of the way we have the clicking set up, right? Right here. It's just forever right here, just like this. So what we can do is we can create, we can make a new costume and just call it costume two. And then when they, when we receive green flag, we will set the costume to costume one, which is the one with an actual graphic. And then what we'll do is after we uh, make this class creation one right here, we'll set it to two and then make sure it goes to a completely random location just like that it'll go super high up or super high over in this corner and turn into this making it not possible to click on uh, feel free to bring that into your start button as well because I if I do remember it will do the same thing there so just kind of put that in there and then make yourself a second costume that's just nothing and now when you actually come into it you should be just fine Okay, well now the class create button didn't show up. Oh right, I know why actually. It's because we never actually set the class create button or the start button to go to costume one once we load it up. Okay, there we go. And now as you see, when I click here, it doesn't show up. So there we go. Now we can shoot our little bullet out. If you want more ideas for bullets, I have created a uh tutorial on how to do exactly that 
uh, not how to do that, uh, some ideas for extra guns in your games. Uh, where I add things like a pistol, revolver, shotgun, uh, chakram, and coach. If I'm forgetting something, I know you edited that video. If you could put on screen what other bullet, what other weapons I forgot, I'll put a link in the video description where you can find that video of where I created those uh, extra guns. So definitely feel free to go to that video and take some inspiration uh, and follow the tutorial there on how to make extra guns. I will be implementing extra guns, a few of them, off camera uh, and I'll show you the code in the next video in case you want to quickly just copy down how I created them. Uh, I highly recommend you do go look at that video I just recommend it to you as it is a very nice uh, weapon idea tutorial. So, since we have done this, this is where I'm going to end this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. And if you didn't like it, like it anyways. Because this bullet just went through the wall. And uh, I can just quickly fix that. I'll do this at the beginning of the next video in case someone already started the new one. But basically, just go ahead and copy this really fast. And then just slap in a touching edge in case it decides it feels like glitching through the wall. It'll stop when it hits the edge of the screen. Anyways, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, like it, didn't like it, like it anyways, because uh, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, going through this series again and actually making it good previous to my last one. While you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, that helped me out a lot. Join Discord, link in the description. Thank you, Coached, being our editor today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.